hi everyone october is here and the weather has been just amazing i think we brought some good weather from boston left over before they get their first snow um, and it also seems like the longer we are here the more things we are getting done so that's really exciting i was waiting for that moment we've been extremely busy And of course, for me, it started with further clearing out the shrubs. And just because we have a um, cleanup person that has appropriate tracks scheduled for uh, end of this week. So I really want to finish this once and for all. I am very tired of it. Um, it's probably 40 years worth of cleanup. It took many days, many hours. Um, but I am happy it's about to be behind us. And we do have a chainsaw as of yesterday, but um, I, I am not going to use it, not anytime soon. Um, I am very scared of it. I am not on that level, so I am going to be doing my thing with my little hand saw. Um, it is what it is. Probably one day I will get there, but at this point I just don't feel comfortable using it. So what I'm doing here, I'm just trying to cut off um, the longer parts that are still growing and then I'm using copper nails and just nailing those nails into the stamp. Look at how nice and clear is under those stairs. Um, you couldn't see a thing a week ago. It was all piled up with wood. And I should clarify actually a uh, cleanup person. Uh, it's not appropriate word. It's our lovely um, neighbor. He offered to uh, uh, help us with it. Uh, we are so lucky to have him nearby and he also speaks uh, English, which is a big plus for us. We would be so lost without him. So someone said maybe we should pull that um, tree root with a tractor out of the ground but um, I wasn't sure of that idea since the tree is growing about probably 20 centimeters from the house and it's been there for a long time so I think it's safe to assume that the roots are somewhere in the foundations I don't want to um, break anything or um, you know so I'm just gonna let it grow I mean let it grow I put those copper nails so it's not supposed to grow but it takes four to five months for the uh, stem to really um, stop growing that's what I read but I have all the time in the world I don't mind waiting for five months Most of the stamp was also rotted. I broke it up further with a hammer. And I really just going to pay attention and see if it's growing or not. And if it grow if it's growing, I'm going to put some um, vinegar and uh, salt on it. Um, it did work um, in the past. And I also had to remove the rotted part of the railing. This all will be a part of the cleanup on Friday later that week. It's actually not that easy as it looks, um, especially with a hand saw. So. It was rotted on the outside, but inside was uh, very, very sturdy. These are the last seconds of it. Yes. 
it was also attached by a strong wire so I just needed to run to the barn to get the wire cutter and this is the last part of the stair uh, railing And back to the jungle well jungle no more as you can see what I'm doing today is I am pulling the ivy roots and I could do that for hours and hours they have grown into the soil made a very thick net um, it's impossible to pull sometimes several of them at the time um, because they're just too strong and they're like deep in the ground and some of the roots are about two meters long. They're just unbelievable. So after I removed all the logs, uh, it was time for the uh, ivies. And you can see what I'm talking about here. So it's not that um, the ivies only grow uh, closely by the wall, they actually spread it out all over. Um, so yeah, that's what I, that's how I spent a part of my day, <laughs> pulling the uh, ivies from uh, different parts of the property. I will show you um, how many ivies I removed from there um, in just a bit. It's a great exercise, that's for sure. I found some uh, more logs under the ivy, so I'm just trying to dig them out. But I tell you, I actually can't believe I did it all by myself in uh, less uh, than a week. I think it took me about three days. Um, it was incredible amount of uh, work. I keep reminding myself it's going to look so nice, um, so much better after I am finished with it. And also since I started this big clean, clean up, I feel like there are way less spiders uh, in the chateau right now. And some roots are like that. Unbelievable. But seeing this place change in front of my eyes gives me a lot of satisfaction. 
So I never really plan my week. I see uh, what's going on and what kind of contractors are coming to the house. Um, so it's really hard to say what am I going to do. I really don't know until I get there in the morning, we drop off the children at school and then I sort of like, okay, what can I do? And the tree that is growing next to me, not the main tree with the ivies, just a little tree to the side of me, I will be trying to have it uprooted. So it took me about two days, two full days of work. Let me show you what I actually pulled. Not just the log, so the small pile starts here. And then look, this is all roots. This is all roots starting from here, here, and under are the wood logs all over here. And then a couple of small piles on this side here. And then there is this one. So hopefully they won't come back. Let me tell you, I think I can claim a victory here over the jungle. Let me show you what it looks. So from this side, look how nice and clean. And then here, so you see the ivies, but actually I would say 80% of roots are gone. So the ivy should just simply dry out and die. And then we go from this side. Look, also nice and clean. So this just now needs raking. And then hopefully this week somebody can help me remove that pile. If this is removed, I'm going to be very, very happy. And that will be a true victory. I don't think this corner of the house seen um being cleaned up like that in many many decades this was not difficult to remove as long as the fence um, net was off and i could not remove that net by myself whatsoever it was way too difficult it actually grew into the ground and was entangled in the grass and the grass wasn't mowed in years Actually, if you step on the grass in that part of the property, it feels like you're on a 10 inch mattress. But you would not believe the difference what it looked before and now, and I will be posting more videos on that. We are currently thinking what kind of design we would like to have in that side of the property. Um, maybe the giant chess, um, small garden. I think something to entertain people and definitely a nice line landscaping. And I tell you, the weather, it's been just dreamy, dreamy the entire month. It's a pleasure to work outside every day. We found some little pumpkins entangled in the grass. We actually collected quite a few of them. I will be making a lot of soup in the future. This one even uh, grew on the fence. Does anyone know what artichokes looks like? Here they are. I had to use Google Lens. I didn't know what kind of plant it is, but look, it makes sense, right? Do you see those little uh, leaves? We also still have tens or hundreds of little tomatoes. They are going bad at this point. Nobody picked them. Um, they're very, very sweet and they're yellow and they're red. Some of them have the shape of the pear, and then the other type are just plain round tomatoes. So I picked up a few for lunch. 
And lunch sometimes is just tomatoes and fresh figs. I am letting some of them drop on the ground and hopefully next year we will have new tomato plants grow from them. I am actually so excited thinking I will be able to have my little garden. Both of the colors are very sweet. You cannot almost detect a difference in flavor. And for the next project, I am going to go inside again. So this is another apartment we will be renovating now. We are almost down with the other one. So this is a second apartment and it has a really great space and a lot of potential. And I actually think there's less work than to do than on the apartment that we're working on right now. So as we walk in, we are in the living room and you can see the tile. It's a nice French, typical French, black and white. But in this case, it's black and yellow or brown and I can tell you from the camera point um, the camera sort of whitens the tile out it actually is more looks more white in the camera than it is it's it's actually more yellow and more brown so um, ideally I would like to be able to bring back the whiteness in it I'm going to do a couple of exper experiments and uh, see if it works. So what I'm going to do today, I'm trying to bring out the whites in those tiles. Um, I research their two methods. Uh, the one is, first one is by using the baking soda and the other one is by using the vinegar. So let's see if uh, any of these methods works. So here is just a vinegar and a water mix, and this is just a, a baking soda and water. I'm just gonna put some on the tile. Sort of like kind of make a paste. I will let it sit for uh, 10 minutes. Maybe I should put a little more. And then uh, let's do a test on the other tile. Use the other side of a sponge and just get some vinegar. There's a little baking soda in it and it was uh, it got mixed up on the sponge. Let's see, I'll clean that black one too. Maybe, yeah, let's see. And also I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes. And then we'll rinse it off and let's see if uh, something happens. So I'm just rubbing some baking soda into the tile, trying to scrub it, but I do not see any difference at this point. And in the middle of the room, the tiles actually look better than on the um, sides. There are some leaks and a large discoloration. So even if I wanted to cover them up with a rack, I, I put the rack in the center, the, all those discolorations are going to be exposed and they are not really attractive. I know some people say, oh, you know, it's just their patina, but I think it's a little too much. So I covered two tiles with baking soda and two tiles with uh, vinegar, and now I am scraping it all off and I do not see any difference. I'm going to wait a few minutes for them to dry and then I will compare. And these are the edges, so you know what I'm talking about. And yes, I did try to clean them and they didn't lighten up at all. No change, they didn't lighten up. Find me on Patreon. I would love to build a new community there and also find me on Etsy. I will be working on my store in the next couple of weeks or so. And thank you for watching.